Uh, it's lovely right. to Thanks see you. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Sally. Thank, Thank you. you okay. It's uh, 20 to 9. Now, Jocelyn Brown began singing in church at the age of just three, and a few years on, her gospel vocals still continue to dominate the dance charts with hits like Always There and Keep On Jumping. Well, she's been back in the studio lending her powerful voice to a new song by producers Camboso. We'll talk to her in a moment. First, let's see her recording the track Love Alibi and some of the finished video. In the night you stole my heart, yeah Just took it away Who'd have thought that it could have been you Looking for somebody to play Such a smooth criminal Creeping in the room With a look hotter than the flames And if they ever come for me Good to see you, Jocelyn. Hi. I was I looked that up on YouTube yesterday, and I was confused because <laughs> hang on, this is Jocelyn's song. Where is Where where's the lead card? <laughs> where is she? Oh, I came slipping in there with a the voice, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yes. and, and, and unmistakably you as ever. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very nice to see you. Indeed. Um, and one other thing I wanted to ask you was that you were responsible for one of the most famous phrases in singing, in modern singing, which the four words "I got the power." That's you. Yes. And you only have to say that to somebody, okay. and um, they can phrase it, you know, they can say it. But you actually are still involved in an action, aren't you, to try and sort of get what's rightfully yours because of it? Because it got nicked, didn't it? Exactly. Uh, a situation that went down, which is pretty common now, mm. which we're aware of, that folks take and uh, use samples. And they use a sample off the album that I did, one from the heart, and a song, uh, Love's Gonna Get You. And uh, the group Snap used it as a part of that whole programming, which was actually the album was called The Power. Yeah. And uh, they used that as the actual gimmick, but in actuality, it took off and became more of that. And they never acknowledged the fact of who they got it from or who did it. So. Yeah. And it was you. And it was me. And well, you want what's rightfully yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some, some may not be familiar with it, so we can just actually hear a snippet. Let's hear a snippet. That. So you originally sang out a, a long time ago, and that is a subject of legal action, which we should, should put to one side. Tell us about the latest project you wrote. Oh, this new project that's out. I worked with a gentleman by the name of Norman Cambridge and uh, Kevin McPherson. Mm. They did a song called Love Alibi, which was brought to me when I was in New York. I was doing a job out there. And Norman called me up and said, Jocelyn, you know, nervously, would you sing something for me? And I said, well, what do you have? And so he sent me the tape and I said, hey, this is going to be fun, you know? And I look at things like that as a challenge, another kind of vocal ex experience, and it was good. I said, okay, let's do this. And mm. that's what it's turned out to be like this. Mm. Well, you've been singing since the age of three. <laughs> How do you keep going? How do you protect this voice? Because it's a huge voice. Thank God. That's the real avenue of it all. God's been good to me. He's been a blessing in my life. I have a great gift. And I keep acknowledging the fact that, you know, without him, I would be nothing. So, But do, I, you, do you protect it? Do yeah, you, I'm a good are girl. Are you sensible and drink hot honey and lemon? Oh, and no, I'm not like that. I'm more like a, I don't do silly things like be out in the cold with nothing around my throat and, and doing excessive singing that doesn't allow me to breathe and give my body a chance to heal. Mm. Because that's a lot of things that goes down with a singer. Sometimes we do over the work and, not, and forget that we're supposed to take care of ourselves. You know, the older you get, the more you begin to understand what kind of experiences you're dealing with as far as performances are concerned. Yeah. So, you know, I learned through the years to take care of myself, to chill back, you know, don't go too far. But, you know, once the spirit takes a hold of you, there's nothing that you can really do about that. So, but just taking your time and understanding what your pacing is. 
I know people will want to remind themselves <laughs> of your pacing and your great moment. So let's have a look. <laughs> You really do have the power, don't you? Thank you. You really do have the power in that voice. What I really, the, my favourite moments of you, though, are when just the two of us. Because I always thought, if they ever brought that back, and if I was ever lucky enough to take part, I would be a diva myself. I said, I'm not doing it unless would, I do it with Jocelyn. Aww, that's so sweet. I would only do it with you because oh, you are you, you are just such fun. You looks like you are just such fun to work with. There you are with Matt. Yeah, we had a ball. Matt and I was just acting up totally. Yeah. Yes. You got me so I can't be back now. I'm so short. Look at me, I'm so short. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's very tall. I'm you know. <laughs> There's definitely chemistry there between you, though. Yes. And you're keeping busy with all these types of product projects as well. I yeah. mean, how often do they come along? Do you actively seek them out, or can you, I'm sure, just sit there and they come rolling in? I've been blessed that they've been coming. They would come rolling in. Folks will call me up and ask me to please be a part, you know, mm. in which I'm grateful to. Mm. But more than anything else, my thing is singing and writing. So I've been in the studio and getting all that stuff together. Mm. I and, see, see, what strikes me about your your style is that you're one of these things. You know, obviously you you deliver the performance and and you have the power and you you get the right notes. But more than that, it's clear that you really feel what you're delivering. Yes from my toes to the crown of my head. Yes, every bit. It's something that happens that I don't, it's kind of hard to describe it. So maybe when you're doing something, you see the, the feeling of it and it just kind of takes control. There's nothing that you can, you can't escape it. You have to fall through with it, mm. you know? So mm. it's that blessing that you get, you know, the ability to be able to do something. Not saying someone else can't, but they don't do it the way you do. The industry is changing Whoa. rapidly. Indeed. And it's changed dramatically since you began in the industry. For the better, do you think? Is there still room for big singers or is technology taking over with traditional, over from traditional music and the way songs were written? Well, the way songs have been written is not like it used to be, of course, because it used to be more from the heart than it used to be from just technically saying things, you know. Uh, I think it's coming back full force, though. I think we're going back to that sound where we need to have someone talking and expressing emotional situations instead of just saying randomly, let's get on the floor and dance, or I saw her last night, or something like that. Think a little bit more that's going to make your heart kind of cringe up. And, oh, please, make it cry. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, if they ever bring that series back, right, yes. and, they, and you take part, we just say, look, I've got some. Will you come and go with me, Bill? Yeah, well, I would come you and promise? go. You promise? Absolutely. Ha! I'm going to put a break to this. Me love too, mate. On the sofa, oh, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justin, it was lovely. I do a mean version you. of Please Release Me as well. Oh, no. Yes. Then don't forget that we've got to put that on there, baby. All right. <laughs> Carol, <Jocelyn. laughs> please save me. Give me okay. some weather. I think we're saying please release me right around the whole country at the moment. Good morning. Today we're looking at a dry day with some sunny spells. Now we still have a little bit of rain at the moment across the far southeast of England. That will clear in the not too distant